In New Jersey, the spread of COVID-19 is on the decline along with hospitalizations, but officials also shared a devastating new stat today, the first child to die because of the virus. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryant is in Washington Township this evening with the story. Cleve. Well, the governor talked about those uh, postmarks that he'd like to see along the way on the road to recovery. Each of them, we're starting to see a little bit with the decline of the virus, but one milestone today, a young life lost. Today, and sadly, we are reporting the death of a child. While protecting the child's identity, health officials say the passing of a four-year-old with underlying health conditions marks the first COVID-19 related death of a person under 18 in New Jersey. We cannot think of the toll of COVID-19 only in economic or mathematical terms, but also in its most basic human terms. Overall, nearly 9,000 New Jerseyans are now suspected of dying from COVID-19. Yet the virus is now declining in every region of the Garden State, say officials. And perhaps the most accurate gauge, the hospitalizations of people have dropped by nearly half since peaking in mid-April. Yet when it comes to reopening the state, Governor Murphy refers to a philosophy rather than a timetable. Public health creates economic health and the data determines dates. The reality is that because of executive order authority, governors in America are determining COVID-19 reopening dates and politics are becoming a big part of the health and wealth discussion. Throughout New Jersey, local mayors are exercising their power to reopen their public parks and beaches. In Trenton, Republicans and moderate Democrats are calling on the governor to reopen small businesses and allow non-emergency surgeries to resume. The State Hospital Association says 14 days of steady decline with the virus is the closest thing to a magic number when determining the timetable to loosen restrictions. And when the governor makes the call, New Jersey's hospitals, they say, will be ready. Our hospitals are drafting plans and our hospitals will be prepared when the governor makes the decision that we can move forward. We are confident in the data that we are beginning to see that we are on the pathway to resuming um, elective procedures and surgeries and we are confident that we will see something in the coming uh, days or weeks ahead. Governor Murphy says hopefully on Monday or Tuesday they will make some sort of announcement as far as expanded testing and contact tracing, which is part of the strategy for reopening the state. Reporting live in Washington Township, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Cleve.